Hey, I don't know who's with me. Give you a couple of seconds to join. Oh, I forgot I have to actually. This is my phenomenal stunning page. Let me share it on my page. Uh, let's go to my page. Hey, everybody, it's the Phenomenal Stemis. We have a special day. It is a, not the normal day that I do it. Um, special Saturday or Sabbath. I hope you can hear me. Hey, Rochelle, you hear, do you hear me well? Do you hear me well? Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Insufferable versus strong. <laughs> hey, I don't like it's like on top of your head. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, people need to see the baldy. Gotta get it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta see the baldy. Yeah. Yeah. It's Leo. Leo Smart. Yes, it's Leo the Lion. This guy. Introduce yourself, Leo, as I try to um, set it's myself Leo up. It's <laughs> Leo the Lion. Yes, I'm here with uh, Maya, Maya, Maya Byfield. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Maya, as she's affectionately known. Oh, that's what they call me. Yes, Dr. Myfield. Oh, okay. or, or tell him, Maya. Tell him. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> we're about to have a interesting discussion um, yes we are yes i'm trying to save it on my page unfortunately it's taking forever um but that's how i know people are going to see me because they see it better on my page because you guys haven't liked or followed phenomenal stemis yet so do me a favor like and follow phenomenal stemis so i don't have to always share on my page Leo, you could do the same. You could share this on your page. Yeah, I am doing that right now as we speak. Because you have much more friends than me. He's like 5,000. Like, he has the limit of friends. He can't accept any more friends, guys. That's true. You know. No new friends. <laughs> no new friends. This is true. Uh, so this so is when true. you share on your page, it's going to a lot more people will watch. Um, uh, let me. Oops. Just bear with us real quick. It just takes a little time. Yeah, it's not on the page yet. <laughs> but it is the final stemmage. We're talking about strong versus insufferable women. Strong versus insufferable women. And I'm going to read the meme that started it all. It started it all. The, all the controversy. <laughs> the controversy. Oh, okay. Controversy. Strong versus, and then, then Esther, Esther posted it because a lot of people got on you, Leo, about posting it and, yes. and, and, and saying it's, you know, not nice to women. And then here it comes a woman posted it. She, I don't know if she knew about the, <laughs> she just posted it, I think, yesterday. And, um, and so women, women, women feel the same way. So let me let me be authentic to the to the post to the All right, it's on my page. All right. So what I'm going to do, I am going to um, read. It came from this guy. We won't call his name. <laughs> irrelevant. But um, it was from a male, and um, I'm going to read basically what it says and how I received it. You know, and uh, how I know another a lot a lot of men also understood the, the meme and it reads men are not intimidated by strong women but far too many women believe that being aggressive rude and generally unpleasant makes them strong no it makes you insufferable it's not that we can't handle you but that we prefer not to in light of better options so that's how i received it i see the expression from my ass well whatever <laughs> it's the truth anyhow it's the truth anyhow you know there is a difference there is a okay. difference um so uh when i posted it um i generally so i'm not i don't shy away from controversy um 
True. And of course, it, it's within reason, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so when I saw it, I didn't think I, I, I knew there would be some people who won't agree. But I had to be true to myself because uh, when I read the post, I could relate. It resonated with me. So even if it's just my truth and other people are going to disagree, but I honestly didn't think that deeply about it. All I knew was superficially. It resonated. It resonated with me. And there are some people who are going to be like, oh, I don't agree. But, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. You know, so I posted it. And um, I apologize. I should have. I, it was my intention to get some of the, you know, not, of course, not the names, but some of the response. But I, re I remember some of the, the response. The majority of the, uh, the, the comments were supportive. From both male and female, both men and women, you know, they they both had some endorsing comments. However, there were women. There were no male that disagreed, but there were some women who were very vehement against the post. What's up, Yasmin? What's up, Tosh? Hey, Tosh. Hey, Yasmin. Congratulations, Tosh. Yay! Okay, go so, ahead. So, yeah, so what, I mean, what's your thoughts? I mean, when, when, when I posted it, what, what did you think about it? It's not that I didn't necessarily agree with the, the post. I just felt like bitter doesn't beget bitter. And that was my point. My point was at the end, he was talking about in light of more it like he sounded like a girl <laughs> like forgive me what a girl sounds but in light of better options we just did it and i'm like dude who hurt you there was no need for all of that i just felt like true that you have a point but i don't think that is going to help the situation i don't i don't think that strong women or or not even strong but insufferable women as he says are going to be less sufferable by that statement. Ultimately, I'm assuming that you want to, you want change behavior, right? You want change behavior. So is that is that mean from a obviously a man who's been you know disrespected by an insufferable woman? Is that going to change an insufferable woman to become a better person? I just didn't think so, and that's why I was like, yo, God, like it's not that it wasn't true. Okay. That was my that was my per perception, and I just felt like I'm, I didn't expect men to necessarily disagree, but I there are men that were like, yeah, this, who who probably would agree with me, like it's not going to help the situation. I, I I don't think he was trying to fix the situation. I think he was just expressing his hurt. Right. He was hurt, and he's expressing it. Mm -hmm. Women get hurt. They get to break. They, they get to express You're their, right. you know. So um. So there's no qualifiers as to what he's trying to say, you know. Um, he's just venting in a positive way, you know. Women say, hey, you know, men don't speak up and we don't hear them speak. <laughs> and when they speak, they they expressing themselves like a girl. I mean, yo. Like, Hold on. Um, Esther, did I go live? Yeah, I'm live now, Esther. I'm actually live right now. You can't see me. I'm on my page. Be it Phenomenal Stemmist, but I also shared it onto my webpage. So let me let me write yes. I'm here. Yes. Yeah. We're live. Check my page. So, so okay. there's there's no part of the meme you disagree with. No, there's no part of the meme that I disagree with. But, I I I just disagree with the tone. I thought the tone mm -hmm. was 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 nasty. Mm -hmm. I thought the tone was harsh, and I thought the tone was not going to help an insufferable woman. If I'm assuming you're trying to help us, I'm I'm assuming you're saying you're not, or it. So it's basically a response to. Well, there is a there is a part I do disagree with. I think some men are intimidated by some women. I do that. I do think there are some. And and what's funny, I think men say that all the time. Especially when the woman has a higher level of education, the number one thing is men are not, they're intimidated by your level of education. What's funny, I remember Steve Harvey said, he said, when men aren't intimidated, they may just not be proud of themselves when they're with you. Because if they feel that they want more education and they don't have it, and you have it. 
they may feel a little ashamed about it, but not intimidated. So he said, it, even we, even people are using the wrong word when they say it. Mm. So I, I was like, that's a good point. But that's usually what, and I'm talking about men, tell, men in my family, men who love me tell me this, because they know I'm not an insufferable person, and, but they say intimidation. So I do think that you can be intimidated, but I, I get his point though. His point is, you're not strong, you're mean, you're nasty, right. and we don't want that. Okay, so so there's a lot to un unpack it here. Uh, mm -hmm. So, okay, so number one, he's not trying to fix this woman. He's okay. he's crossing her off. He's done with her. There, right. So there's no going back. I mean, I, even me personally, when I have met women like that, I mean, you off the list. There's, you know, I... Even if a possibility that you you did change, I'd rather not um, engage. You know, I'll keep it friendly because that's the person I am. I'll keep it civil. However, if you're needlessly nasty, if you're needlessly disrespectful and rude, then that tells me all I need to know <laughs> about you. Because your actions... It's un they were unwarranted. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not provoked. You're not. Um, you're treated well, and your response to me being chivalrous is disrespect. I mean, yeah. But look how much everybody. Somebody, somebody's liking. Oh, Esther's like giving you a thumbs up. What's up, Esther? Thank you, Esther. <laughs> Ambassador, what's up, Esther? Oh, not Ambassador. Amsterdam at SDA Church. Hey, what? That's in New York. I don't know. Oh, but he's a friend of mine. I but like, with all the stuff that we women have put up with y'all, that, that that's that's the other thing. We women, men cheat on us wow. a lot of the times, wow. and we forgive, and we and you can't handle. Like that's that's another thing. It's like there you guys have so many levels. Like oh no, she wouldn't get past this. Uh, women on the other hand. We're so merciful, and that's another thing that I was. I didn't say it, it wasn't a part of the meme, but it was a part of the conversation. It was a that, part of the conversation, and I'm yes. like, and that's that's what I couldn't understand. That's what I can't understand. You guys are so intolerable about what we, you will, you will, and you will not take from us. And the years, and that's when we brought the race thing in because it really mm -hmm. wasn't talking about black women, mm -hmm. but but we, you know, a lot of us. Felt, we pivoted then. Yes. yes, we did. We we went to strong black women, yes. and it's like the stuff that we put up with you guys, and 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 the moment we decide to say, you know what, you know, because that's what that's what strong black women tend to do. They talk about basically, I don't have to take this. That's what they say sometimes. I don't have to take this. Da, 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 da. So the moment they get their independence and their strength. Um, they're they're deemed insufferable and um, are worthless, and so psh, forget you. So I mean, that's that was the so your motivation wasn't anything per personal. It was just you saw the meme. It was as simple as what we women have the freedom to do. We see memes, and I, and I heard you with that. We see memes, and we post memes. No. No question, no nothing. Nobody responds any kind of way. But as soon as a dude sees a meme that resonates with them and they post it, then the all hell breaks loose. And I and I felt you with that one. Oh, okay, I appreciate it. So, so um, yeah, you, you know, there was no real truth test. I, I'm sure this guy didn't go through a series of truth tests. That I'm sure, pretty sure, he wasn't going to consider the historical um dynamics between men and women and black men and black women so therefore because black men or men in general have historically been the one who have been toxic and uh, abusive because the fact is what he's saying here indirectly is he's not one of them he's not the man that's gonna um okay. uh disrespect or He's he's a good guy. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. I'm a good guy. So why am I getting the blame for my father and grandfather or mm. my brothers or my uncle or my friends or men in general 
Well, I'm trying to do the same thing. So essentially, here's the danger with that, because that that the the, the comments regarding this meme, it basically took over the conversation of what the post because no a lot of women were saying well you gotta look at the historical aspect of it because men are the one and i'm kind of like so here i am as a as a man trying to hold other men accountable and fighting for uh equity between the genders and so but, but at the same time um if there are women who are insufferable by its accurate definition, other women are going to support them. So while men who are insufferable, I'm going to go to war mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. You are not going to go to back for me when other women who are insufferable and I call it out. That's mm -hmm. to me that is hypocritical. hypocritical. That's true. That's a good that point. Is totally you, you get his point, right? Oh, okay, Camille, you come. So yeah, it is New York. Camille is a friend of mine from um, New York, and she's coming through that um yeah esther it's being nasty you're right it's not strong it's being nasty and so what happened was we women many of us instead of addressing the nasty woman like he's supposed to address the, the abusive man, man exactly we did not do that no no you came after him and you came <laughs> after me you came after everyone not you per se yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah so so it's sort of like well it, so it, it's sort of like if a man, if okay, if a woman is being abusive to her spouse or abusive to her husband, and you know, he's you know, he's like, I'm gonna call the police, then she's gonna be like, Oh, men have historically been <laughs> uh, abusers of domestic violence, so therefore you should take one for the team. Right. What? And get murdered? Because other men have done it? No. No, 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 no. That's that's dead. <laughs> that's not that's not how it works. No. Okay. All right. So what is your definition of a insufferable versus strong? Since that's what Esther basically brought out that point. Is it being strong or insufferable? What's the what's the difference? Okay, so there is a difference. Um being strong is a virtue. Okay? Being mm -hmm. insufferable is what's the opposite of virtue um what's the opposite of virtue it's nasty i don't know virtuous state virtuous is virtuous it's, means it's i don't know well it's negative okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's 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 a it's a negative characteristic it's a bad character unbecoming not, unbecoming yeah not right. wanted yeah right so um so um what I picture, um, an example of a woman that's uh, that's insufferable, um, would be someone that would flaunt their 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 success, flaunt their money, place material things over human being and your worth, depending on you know uh, what you have acquired. Mm -hmm. um and, and that's uh, you know status it's, it's about status you know basically that's that's an example i, I have not necessarily exhausted the definition mm -hmm. but uh that would be 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 an example um and strong you know it's, it's it has to do with character you know mm -hmm. insufferable is a, someone of poor character Mm -hmm. And we and poor character. I know you did this money, but <laughs> but it's basically it's it's how you treat people. Right. And if you're gonna treat people because you're gonna judge them because whether the color of their skin, because their personal possession, because where they're from, uh, because um, of their religion, uh, these are uh, insufferable traits. And you know it, it's you know men alone are not the one that mon monopolize these traits. These traits, yeah. But what what if what if so I hear you you know a woman who flaunts her 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 success a not, woman, not necessarily flaunts what, what, it but but like you said you were saying basically she value you according to status superficial stuff yeah okay what if people view you that way 
So let, I'll, I'll use myself as an example, right? I don't view myself as insufferable. Right, Leo? I'm not an insufferable no, person. No, you have come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh. or you perceive me different. What if you see people from the outside, right? You see how they are from the outside and you make judgments from far. I personally think you will know you won't know a person until you truly get to know the person. You mm -hmm. you literally because if you see me from far, I, I personally I feel like especially the Adventist circle, people talk about people before you even know the person. This is true. You most people people know what I do for this a living. You don't even they know what I drive. This is they true. know how what how much my wealth status before. They even say, hi, my name is such and such. What's yours? And that is, and so people talk, they find out information and they make judgments. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. And even, even in, in dating, you know, so I have, it, you know, went across the room, mm -hmm. introduced myself to a young lady and she's like, oh, so you are Leo. <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean? Like, so apparently my name is out there and it's not good, you know. Leo is a good guy. And you guys know. I appreciate that, Maya. He but, is. Um, tell him, Maya. So, <laughs> anyhow, she walks off, and I didn't get to get but indulging me to incline. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, months later, we would cross paths again. And then she will then, oh, this is why, this is what I heard, da, 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 da. But I know it's not true because the person. Too late. Well, <laughs> well, well, she's saying that now because she and that person who she got the information from is no longer friends. Cool. Um, you know what I mean? Wow. So, and I'm kind of like, wow. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But yeah, too late. Mm -hmm. You know, so a judgment was cast that you believe it and you ran with it. Right. Months, hey, Siobhan, hey, Topaz. So months later, when that relationship has dissolved, mm -hmm. then, yeah. Wow. So that's the that's the danger. I feel like, you know, like you said, it happens with guys too, right? Um, but I feel like you don't make the judgment of an insufferable person versus a strong person, like based on information that you don't know. If, if make, make sure that they're insufferable by speaking with them. Find out who they are, because they may not be the person you say or think they are based on something from the outside. So, well, let me ask you though, uh -huh. but, but, this, but this guy says, hey, this is my experience. Why don't you believe him? He's a victim. Why don't you believe mm -hmm. that he had an encounter with someone that's insufferable? I Why does he has to, why do we ask? Well, a lot of women didn't. No, a lot of women pivot and say, "Well, yeah, maybe it is because you know he." Yeah, yeah they a lot of them placed they, it back on him. They pivoted. No, they. Yes, you're right. Yes, they pivoted. I agree. They pivoted because it 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 we we get the bad rap of being strong, it's, and I think it was a lot of black women, obviously, who pivoted because this they just took. They took issue with the nature of the tone. It's not, I don't think anybody disagreed with it. I don't think any, they just felt like- Anybody many disagree them, with what? I'm the, listening. The, the message. They of, did. Okay. They ah. did disagree with the message. They, they, some of them went as far as to make it sound as there, there's no such thing as an insufferable woman. Well, I didn't get that. Maybe they, I no, didn't there are people they, who actually commented like that. And, okay, I, and I have to basically, um redirect them to scripture <laughs> about the, the the dripping faucet right i had to i didn't see that i had to redirect them to being in the corner of a, top of your house mm -hmm. that you know than to a, you know in the company of a brawling woman they insufferable women exist yeah so why make it sound as though it's some type of phenomenon it, it, they have always existed yeah you know it's not just men that are toxic right. but but there are women as well you know who are very belligerent and unnecessarily so mm -hmm. you know and and but the thing is just a lot of women just 
you know, not all, because some women actually were very proactive, supportive, supportive and say, because some of them, yes, I have dealt with some of these women. Mm -hmm. You know, I have seen it, you know, it's not just men, because these women, they're not just being that way to men. They're also being that way to everybody, to other women. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, you know, I'm a boss lady. I'm a diva, you know, uh, you know, so there are other women that carry that sort of but mindset they're not they're they're not even supportive of other women they're they they are drawn to power regardless of gen gender mm -hmm. and if they see you as impotent mercy they don't they don't necessarily would want to associate with you because you are lesser because you lack power there are some people like that and so if you have power influence money then they will gravitate to you and it doesn't matter the gender you know um so I'm, and i'm thinking this woman is is it may be like that i've encountered women like that mm -hmm. it's not that they are they have something against me per se but that their perspective of me is of such right you know so and which is sad because you know as you know martin luther you know you know judge somebody by the content of the heart then the character it is it, not just about skin right it's not from the outside it's not just, you're right yeah esther says it's but just, if you are nasty from far nobody wants to be close we observe from a distance many times or should i say i do yeah but i, I think i'm not talking about being nasty from a distance i'm talking about because in, in, in the context of strong versus insufferable um, status driven, that section of the insufferable part that Leo was talking about, um, based on what you know, you drive, you have, many people will look at you from the outside and assume that you are cocky and, and focus on status based on from far things. Yeah, if you're nasty from far, then yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just your perception of what you think they are based on the things that they have that section part. That's what I'm talking about. Um, let me read out some other comments. I'm glad you think it's a, a great conversation. Um, you can't punish one person because of someone else's action. I think that's in as regards to what you're saying. You can't be mean to one guy based on your father's situation or whatever. You can't be a respectful person. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Birdhead. How are you guys doing? Hey, guys. Um, okay. So, strong versus so strong is you could still be have character you know a character um filled person who is strong strong is not a bad word it's in some no. ways the bad thing no and and i and i and i personally think saying a strong woman is redundant right women a part of a woman a mature spiritual woman is strength right there's a power in the woman's words like if you read that book it's an awesome book like there is so it's redundant so that so this concept of saying i'm a strong woman i'm a strong black woman i think a lot of the times is coming from a place of hurt insecurity oh, pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so that and and truth be told michelle obama has said she's a strong black woman she said mm -hmm. it because other people will start to compare women this woman versus that woman. I just don't like the comparison. I don't like saying this woman versus this woman. So, so, but, any, but I digress. It's coming from a place of hurt. How does a mean heal a woman? Because I don't a you believe mean heal? Like I don't mean a mean she'll heal, but everything that we do, I believe, should lead to healing. I get your point. Your point is it resonated with me, and I should be able to post. So I get that. I agree with that. Healing for who? Healing for the healing for the person who has the problem. I feel like we should want to. He get... has the problem, and he's actually doing what it takes for he, him to get healed. He's the one that had the bad experience. He's the one who who has been victimized, uh -huh. and he's expressing himself instead of bottling it in and turn to illicit sex or drug abuse or you know okay all he, right so so i get your point so he is actually doing the necessary things and we ought to support him 
Okay. You know, we would support women, but we don't, we didn't support the brother. Okay. And I actually followed his page and look at the comments. Mm -hmm. And even though some of the things I'm telling you right now is like the stuff I read, mm -hmm. you know, because somebody pointed that out, like this man is doing the right thing mm -hmm. and we're not supporting him. Mm -hmm. um, well, well, some are not supporting him. And, um, and that's what, you know, so it was, it was very interesting. It was, okay. it was it was very interesting. So he is, he is, it, for a man to come out and post that he has been hurt by a woman, it's not publicly on Facebook. You know what I mean? He's not going to take the victim role in the sense of, in the pure sense. He's a victim, but it's somewhat coding. It's somewhat like, at the same time, he's trying to still... Right. Have, 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 have his manliness yeah, yeah. About it, right. because he's basically destroying someone else I feel like he, instead of him saying I'm hurt he's basically dissing women saying um, we just have better in light of better options I just, it's not a diss, it's a fact I know it's a fact I know it's you don't a have fact. to put up with abuse there are way better. They're they're pretty. There's a lot more better women out there than 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 dealing with um, someone that is toxic. Abuse, toxic. Okay. All right. So yeah, he's a, everything he's saying was fact. I understand that. It just felt like it was outward. It wasn't really. I I didn't get the vibe. You got it, and other people got it. They, Some women felt it. attacked. Some women felt called out in the comment section. And I know why, because I know it. <laughs> of course you're gonna feel that way. Cause you're inflammable. Cause this yeah. And the shoe fit. If the shoe fit, right? Like like my grandparents would say. Esther agrees with you, she says she agrees with me. See, Esther's a smart woman. So like my grandparents would say, you know, fling rocks going in the app and who squeal out at them. You know what I mean? Just so, to let you know that's pot where it says if you fling if you, you throw, throw a stone at it and the person who shoved is because it hits the, the, them. Yeah, that's who, right. <laughs> so, so, you know, simply put who the shoe fit, let them yeah. wear it. It, you know, so some women were actually, you know, offended by it. You know, some given historical perspective, <laughs> some, and I'm like, what that has to do with him presently, how he is feeling. That's, you know, that what, what, you know, there's so many contexts and they want to, they want to dissect it and, and qualify, you know, um, why women are insufferable and why there's no such thing as an insufferable woman, woman, but, you know, it's really a strong woman in which he can't get. So therefore he, I'm like, wow, it's a, it's a stretch, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, maybe he deserved it. You know what I mean? And he's the he, he's the one that that's basically reaching out, reaching out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So give the brother or something. Yeah, I need to be more aware of the way men reach out. I did not get that vibe. I I just felt that the tone was just the tone was nasty. It is it, it, nasty begets nasty. I, I hear his boy voice. I hear his point. I agree with it. It just the tone was like, but but but. Leo rightly explained to me that's the way that in order to 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 maintain their integrity as a man and but still be able to express their feelings. So basically, be able to express their feeling without looking like a punk. That's how they do it. He's angered. Yeah. But he's right. also hurt. Right. And he don't know y'all. This Facebook. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so <laughs> what happened? No, I'm laughing. He's oh, like, he don't know y'all. It's Facebook. It's Facebook, laughing. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. So he's both anger and hurt. So in this context, angry is going to be on the front end. Mm -hmm. It's going to be um, right. what leads the way. Yeah. Hurt is what's going to be nuanced. And, and, and we ladies must be able to, to sift between that. To sift, you, right? Right, 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 right. Because, I mean, again, he don't know us. Mm -hmm. But those who know, knows, like... They can read. That's why some women got it. Some women was like, yeah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They not only got he's hurt, they also have an image of what the type of person they have, he has dealt with. Every guy has that image, mm -hmm. you know, who, who they, you know, who would be considered. 
Because we, we know the difference. We know the difference between a strong woman and an a, a insufferable woman. Right. That's and, the key thing. They and, know the difference, guys. And, and also, we also know that there are some women who are trying to redefine strong. Mm. And that's part of the problem. Okay. Talk to me about that. What are you talking about? So, um, so some women think that being um, brash and, and being um, what generally will be considered um, uh, a, a male space mm -hmm. as being strong. So, and a man is not going to, if he's interested in a woman and what is conventionally considered manly, whether it be positive or negative, and, and that tends to be your general default persona, mm -hmm. a guy's going to leave mm -hmm. because he's not gay, right. even though you're a woman, mm -hmm. because our energy needs to complement. Right. You know, so we're occupying the same space with like uh, characteristics, you know what I mean? And <laughs> so, you know, you don't want to have children with your homeboy. Mm -hmm. So you leave. You you say, oh, okay, all right, homie, you can have that. I'll just find you another territory. Right. That's yours. You know, we're not going. No, that's you know, you can have that. That's that's you know what I mean. But um, but you know, so 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 some women don't 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 they don't know. Or, they don't know they were they were, they were raised without a father. They don't get the softness that the father brings, um, because a lot of the times, the father is the one that um, treats their daughter like a lady. Mm -hmm. They they learn at least they should. Oh, they, oh, at least they should. Yeah, they do. and 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 so they behave a certain way based on the experiences, um, based on the fact that they had to fend for themselves. There are all kinds of reasons, um, but he, he makes a, a, a grand point. Um, have we ladies, you know, feel free to talk, feel free to comment, all of you who are watching. Have, have many of us lost the art of femininity? Mm. Like, you know, we're talking about toxic, people talk about toxic masculinity all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, are we so focused on getting rid of this concept of masculinity that, or toxic masculinity that we, we don't honor that there is the masculine and the feminine and they both like that, that is something that was created. It's our creator. God created us masculine and feminine. Um, have we lost that art? Have we lost the ability to be the flower, you know, as women, right? What what do flowers do? Like we are, you know, we are beautiful. We attract birds and bees based on our beauty. Um, and and they want to be near us. Have we lost that art? Because, and there's all kinds of reasons um, as to why it happens. My thing is, Maybe I'm just expecting patience, you know, and I, and, and I guess just men, I just feel like women are patient with men that don't, don't meet that qualification, but maybe, I don't know. I don't know necessarily. Maybe it's just me. I just feel like we, we can be flawless and I'm, I'm not saying it's the truth. I'm just saying how I'm feeling. I feel like we have to be flawless. And guys can have all the flaws in the world and we have to, we're trained to be like, well, a man is a man, you know, just get him as good as he can be, you know, but the opposite, you know, man, if it's go away. What, what is your take on that? I, that's just my feelings. I think that women, I feel like we have to be flawless. Do you think we have to be flawless? I think uh, my take on that is two words, time and chance. Mm -hmm. And so I will go by an underlying the 80 20. 80% 80 of the population is after 20%, mm -hmm. the minority. Mm -hmm. For those 20%, which are those with 
the, I think what they call the magic uh, rectangle where their face is symmetrical and what have you. <laughs> yeah. um, for those 20%, they mm -hmm. don't have to be flawless. Mm. You know, they could be, um, and they and they know it, and they use it to their advantage, mm -hmm. and they uh, they keep getting right. They they mm -hmm. keep they not only do they keep receiving, but they abuse along the way, especially um, if they're aware and there is no there is a demand for them. Mm -hmm. They will never see supply, so they abuse it. Mm -hmm. um, so for. Um, the, 20, the for the eighty percent like myself, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, to some degree, and and for again for men and women, it may translate differently. Okay. Because then for 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 so a man could go to a woman who is drop dead gorgeous, and and is a high school dropout, mm -hmm. but because she's drop dead gorgeous, mm -hmm. uh, his needs of her is quite superficial. Mm -hmm. treat me good uh have sex with me and that's it mm -hmm. that's it really she is she, is she flawless to him she is flawless mm -hmm. you know and i must admit men's standards generally are low when it comes to women because it seems as though that they generally just look but, at the okay aesthetic. so to, to that point Men's standards are generally low to women. Did you hear that? But we have better options when it comes to insufferable. So I guess it just depends on the, the flaw. If the flaw is a personality issue. Mm, mm, well, you, 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 like you're saying. We're she standards. treats him well, though. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. okay I see Even saying. though she's uneducated and don't have much to bring to the table mm -hmm. beside her looks. Right. But his standard is. Treat uh, me well, right? And I, you know, so, as long as you you have uh, sexual appeal, and you and you're also mutually interested, let's go. Okay, and treat me well. Uh, yeah, treat yeah exactly. Mm. So you're you're so so. So we we're, we're the ones with all kind of lists as ladies. We we just we just expect too much. Is that what it is? I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. No, I, but I think that, that it's it's because of what's what's taught i think women were taught for, for you know security mm -hmm. i think over the ages where the, what we're seeing in modern times is 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 actually a response to the abuse by men mm -hmm. throughout the generations who who never stepped up to their responsibility so because of society that historically men were supposed to provide and and, and hope i'm not being offensive by saying this but wives were supposed to be, uh, as it were, one of the children. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. they're supposed to like provide and give everything to the children. Um, you know, in terms of provision, of course, the wife is not a child, mm -hmm. but in the terms of um, being provided for, you know, it's his responsibility. Yeah. And then um, over time, you know, that just got distorted yeah and so women get kicked out and have to fend for themselves in a right. world that does not cater right. to them and so there's an evolution that took place mm -hmm. and so um even though women now are probably more than any time before are now uh, in the in the world as far as um careers and mm -hmm. profession they are they have never been close to being equal to men. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about performance. I'm talking about in their ability to make money. Money. Right? Mm -hmm. So so now they still have that concept. Mm -hmm. They still have that concept of, okay, um, even though I, I'm a millionaire, um, security is still top on their list. Yeah. Even though they, they, they could probably take on a, a husband who who just looks good and has right. a GED right. and still be fine? They're not going to do that, not, yeah, because that's not what they were taught and that's not the expectation they have of men. Right. So, um, so someone who is in their prime, a woman that's who is in my, their their prime, they would. So she's in her prime and she is successful, right? She's just widely successful. 
She's not going to take on a man unless he matches her or exceeds her income. That's not true. That has been. Tested. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that, especially black women. Oh, hold on. As, as I said, in her prime. Now, over time. No, in her prime. That's more. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm listening. Okay. Watch so, your mouth. Pappy said, watch your mouth. No, good, Go good, ahead. God, you listen to the sermon. <laughs> watch your mouth. All right. So, so yeah. So, so, so in their prime. But over time, then women come to the realization that. The realization they come with, uh, which is, you know, I'm about to say something profound. I know he's going to say this. I'm, I'm waiting for him to say it. Go ahead. I'm listening. Over time, they get to realize that men who make as much as them see them as competition. Over time, they get to realize that um, a lot of men who are within that same earning bracket could get a woman of her beauty that's true with a a a, 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 um, a more diminished self-worth or not i wouldn't mm -hmm. say self-worth um saying. dependence mm -hmm. was this what you were expecting me to say no mm -hmm. it wasn't see she's already trying to put stuff in my mouth but anyhow <laughs> but yeah so i mean you know and and that's because as well men were taught that like mm -hmm. Uh, and some of it is not healthy, to tell the truth. You know, because they're placing the value. I remember, I remember we playing, we were playing soccer in high school, and I remember the guy. His name is Chucky, and Chucky was our goalkeeper. So we we're playing ball, and then all of a sudden, like even the coaches, the coaches, we all stopped. All twenty-two boys on the soccer field, and the coaches on the on, on the sideline stopped. And we turn and we look at this woman just jogging. Beautiful, gorgeous woman. She's just jogging. <laughs> like Baywatch, you know? So, I know it's Sabbath. Anyway. Sabbath. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sabbath. No, yeah. no, so, no, no, no. So, oh. right. so everybody stopped. Everybody stopped and was looking. And Chucky said, man, for that reason alone, I want to be rich. I want to mm. work hard to be rich. Mm. Wow. And we knew what he mean because guys like us wouldn't be able to get a girl like that. Mm. We would not be able to get a girl like that, typically. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to come with something. And, and, um, as a means of security and provision. But like to your point, because Topaz also disagree with you with the concept that a woman in her prime is not good, is only gonna want a man who makes equivalent or more than her. And Topaz, is that what you're saying? You know, I, she, um, I, think, that. I think that's what she's yeah, saying. She said that's not true. Cause, cause I, she might be disagreeing with you. That's true. <laughs> that's true. You so, know, so so you speaking for you know <laughs> you in the so you bad. Topaz. You she, she, she ain't a Topaz whisperer. Come on. <laughs> So bad. I know you're talking about me. No, but seriously, like, I, there are a lot of women who date men who make less money than them, and they've been doing, they've been had that mindset from when they were in their twenties in their so-called no, prime. That's not typical. I, okay, not well, I'm just going to disagree with you on that one. They usually learn that over time to say, well, you know what? Yeah, just like when men learn, like. Uh, just like how men learn, looks on everything. Looks and everything. Women also learn that it took time for them to like. You know what? He may not have everything that I expected, but he's a good man. He's a he has good character, and I'm going to work with him. They didn't come out. They didn't come no, out. That is true. They that, didn't come out of the gates like that. I agree with that, but that but it's not always. So everybody, a lot of women have lists. I agree with that. Like we have these lists, but what I'm trying to explain to you is not every woman with the in the list is the is the make the same money or more that's all i'm saying every woman i think a lot of us women yes we have these lists and then of, of who we want and what we want and then over time we mature and say you know what it's there's going to be like the core characteristics that matter and others so i agree with that mm -hmm. but but money is not always on the list equivalent money and and over money i'm trying to say is not always on the list that's that's what I'm trying to say. All right. 
Yes, no, I'm not disagreeing with Maya. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. I knew she was. <laughs> um, but here comes Esther. Go away, Esther. Go away, Esther. She's like, it's more typical than not. No. <laughs> I'm just playing. Esther, she's 